What does Donald Trump mean to you? What Donald Trump means to me is the worst. It's the ugly American. In my mind, Donald Trump is the ugly American. And I have traveled around this country and around the world. And I ha I've had more than, uh, <laughs> you know, more than a few encounters with ugly Americans. I've told you stories about these things, uh, these folks. And you know what I'm talking about. And, and Donald Trump, and, and, and it's like uh, Frank Bruni had a great piece. Uh, he used to live in Italy, you know, and in the New York Times yesterday. Um, and and uh, he was, and he was on the phone with some of his friends in Italy, or maybe he was in Italy for a week uh, sometime back, sometime in the last month or so. I'd have to go back and reread the column to catch his timeline on this all. But basically, his Italian friends were saying, hey, Silvio Berlusconi, you made fun of us for all those years. Now we get to make fun of you with Donald Trump because Silvio Berlusconi and Donald Trump, they're both billionaires. They both are like oversexed. They both have multiple wives. They both have, you know, bunga bunga parties. They both have, uh, you know, kind of sketchy backgrounds and, and you know, the, they're, they're both kind of mobbed up. All this, I, this isn't all the stuff that's in Frank Bruni's column. It's, yeah, I've added a few things to it. But basically saying Donald Trump is our Silvio Berlusconi. He's not our Adolf Hitler. He's our Silvio Berlusconi. I think that he's more dangerous than Berlusconi for a number of reasons. Even if he was just a clown like Berlusconi was, he's a, he would be a clown with the world's largest collection of nuclear weapons, which Italy doesn't have. He would be a clown with with the, the the world's largest military. Italy doesn't have. He would be a clown with the world's largest economy, which Italy doesn't have. But he's not just a clown. I I believe Donald Trump is a genuinely dangerous man. And I think that what makes him do, so dangerous is his absolute belief in himself and his abilities. In a way that. Most, I think most professionals in the field of psychology would say it represents a fundamental disconnect with reality. Now, the unfortunate reality is that Donald Trump has had a number of experiences through his life that it reinforced that unreality. I mean, he was a member of the Lucky Sperm Club. He was born white and rich and male in the United States of America. His daddy gave him a pile of money. He used that money to to bankrupt himself a few times and to build a small fortune. It's a smaller fortune, though, than he would have had if he had simply taken the money he inherited from daddy and put it in a stock fund. But still, you know, he's he's out there. He's doing this thing. But I I I, I genuinely think that. And so the, my point there is that he has had a number of experiences in his life where he, he goes out on the limb and you know, it all works out. Yeah, Trump steaks fell apart. Trump vodka fell apart. Trump, you know, university fell apart. Trump, you know, Trump airlines fell apart. <laughs> Trump casino fell apart. He, I'm not sure. He, I don't think he even has a gaming license in, in Nevada anymore. I think that the Trump Hotel is actually separate from, you know, the, the rest of the stuff in the, on the Strip. Um, at least it was when I drove by it in March of this year. I didn't look to see if they had a casino, though. I, I, frankly, I don't know. But I've heard, who knows? But I, I am concerned that there will be people on our side who will say, eh, you know, it's not so bad. He could, you know, he's a reasonable guy. He's a businessman, you know, like this. I don't think that Donald Trump is a reasonable man. I think Donald Trump is a is an absolute demagogue. He's an authoritarian. He's the guy that John Dean wrote a book about, Conservatives Without Conscience. In fact, we should get John Dean on to talk about Donald Trump. I, I'll bet he, he would have a lot to say about Donald Trump. And we need to take this stuff really seriously and listen carefully when his surrogates tell you how he's going to conduct his campaign. Because it's coming. It's coming. And when they're saying, hey, you know, we think we've got a chance, they think they have a chance. And there's there's some good reasons why they have a chance. I know it's very, very popular right now 
to sit around with the, the, the intellectuals and intelligentsia and laugh at Donald Trump. Beware. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.